Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing a project pan update. So today I'm, I'm doing it a little bit early because I want to do it while I've got a chance to while I'm off. So today is the 13th of August that means that we're sort of two days um, before what I did it last time. We're just going to do an update of whereabouts I am with the products that I picked out to do my project pan and see what I've managed to use up and whereabouts I'm at and then obviously in another month's time on the 15th of September we'll be doing like an overall deadline because that'll be when I've planned to use all these products up by and we'll see where I'm at and if I've managed to use them up or not. So the first lot of products I'll start with is the Moi Moisture hair products that I picked out to use up. So I've actually done really well with this little bundle. So I've fully used up the shampoo. The last time we were around about here so I've managed to use all of this up which I'm really happy with. I just made sure that every time I was washing my hair that I was using this to try and get through it because I've got so many other shampoo and conditioners that I just want to try and get cracked into so I just wanted to use this up having loads of shampoo and conditioners up. I also managed to get through the Shea Butter hair mask from the same range. This had about one use left in it so I just coated my hair in it, left it on for half an hour before I got in the shower and then did my usual shampoo and conditioning routine. And then last but not least we've got the conditioner. We were up here last time, I'm only here now. Bottles like tipped over but I am, I am about here now so there's not a massive amount left in here which I'm actually really happy with. Now what I'll probably do with this is now I've used the other shampoo and conditioner up, I'll just use this as a hair mask and use a different shampoo and conditioner. I always end up with more conditioner than I do shampoo anyway. So I'm hoping I can get through the rest of that conditioner by the next time and then we'll have fully got through all of these. That's quite exciting. There's literally like the tiniest amount in there. Like I can't even scrape that out and use it. So moving on, then I've got the Body Shop Love Etc Body Wash that I wanted to use up. This was actually really high up last time we were about here i've managed to get down to here i obviously get washed every night i always have a bath every night so i've been making sure to use this because i had a couple of them on the go at once but because this is my least favorite i knew i wanted to get through it and use it up because otherwise it would just sit and sit and sit and it'd end up going off so i've made a real effort and we've actually got quite far down so i definitely think by the next time we do this video i should have used this up then we've got a couple of fragrances that i was aiming to use up i've got the victoria's secret aqua kiss fragrance mist which is literally i've not used this as much as i would like to have it was originally at the orange mark it's now at this green one here but i actually think to be quite honest there's probably only a couple of uses left in this now so i'm hoping well i know i will i'll throw this in my handbag and make sure i use it up by the next time this should be used up and then i've also got the river island perfume this actually fell out of my handbag into my car so I've not been using it as much as I should do, but I definitely want to make sure that I make a real effort to use this one all the time now. So I'm going to make sure it stays in my bag and I'm going to get this used up by next time. I've used a little bit since last time, but nowhere near as much as what I would have liked to have used. So we definitely have got some work to do on this one. Then I've got the cleanser of choice, which was the Burt's Bees Deep Cleansing Cream. And what I've been making sure I've been doing with this is when I get a bath on a night, I've been cleansing my face with this in the bath. And um, because it's one of those messier cleansers, it's not like a micellar water, you do need to rinse it with water. So because I'm getting a bath every single night, I'm using this every night because it's on the side of my bath. So we were originally at this orange mark here and I've now actually got it down to this green one here. And I definitely think that if I continue to use this on a daily basis by the time we get to next month i can have used this up i've done really well and um, worked quite hard to get through this so i'm quite happy that i've um managed to get that far through and then i've got the moisturizer by keels which is the ultra facial oil free gel cream again i've done quite a good job at this and um, there's not actually that much left in here we've probably only got a few uses left i definitely again think by next month that we can get this one used up and hopefully it'll be in my next product empties video i had two masks to use i've actually managed to fully use up the pixie glow mud mask this was one of my aims to try and get this used up and i have fully used this one up now so the next one that we're going to try and fully use up is the quick fix facials purifying charcoal mask i definitely want to try and get this one used up so i'll make an effort to try and use this one when i want a mask i also had the me 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 seventh heaven primer on my list of products that needed to be used up so this is the enriched uh, moisturizing face base so this is like a primer i've been using this every time um, I prime my skin and we've nearly hit the bottom of it now I definitely think that if I continue to use this every time I put makeup on that I can get through this um, or get very close to getting through this so fingers crossed 
the two products that I'm a little bit worried about finishing are the two hair products. We've got the Garnier Ultimate Blend Sleep Perfector Oil. I've made a real go at this and I have made quite a dent because we were here and now we're at this green line. But I only wash my hair like twice a week. So, and I only need the tiniest amount on this. So I'm not sure if I'll manage this one or not. I'm hoping I will. Um, but we'll just have to see what happens when it comes to this one. And then again, same with this, the Studio Pro Boost It Volume Hairspray. I'm making a go to use this, but I don't use hairspray every time I style my hair, so I'm finding it quite difficult and I keep forgetting about it. So I definitely need to put this like front and centre somewhere where I'm going to try and use it up. I will need to um, make more of an effort to um, remember to use it. And I just want to, even if I get quite far through and there's only a little bit left, I want to try and make a dent in it because um, there's probably about half a bottle left right guys that is my quick run through of how far i've got with project pan i'm actually quite impressed with myself and i feel like i've done really well um and i have made a real effort to get through some of these uh, products you know let me know what you think and um i shall see you in the next one i hope you've enjoyed this video Mwah, thanks for watching